Hey there, happy Monday my dudes. I have a 3v1 invasion for you today. We're up against a mage, a spearman, and an axe dude who turns out to be also a mage. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a fun one. So we're invading at rune level 30 for this session. It's a bit different from our usual content, but I heard from one of my good friends Tarnish Brand that the online activity in the early game is insane. So I do recommend trying it out, especially if you're new to invasions. Anyway, these dudes don't seem to be newbies at all. They have the whole frontline backline tech in play. So the best thing to do for now is to isolate and eliminate the mage. But as you see here, Axe Dude swaps to a staff and begins blasting with magic. After finding some cover from the Relentless Pew Pew spells, we begin pressuring the host with some running R1s. Axe Dude falls into the gap. This gives us some quality solo time with the host. But as you'll see later, he's not the only one falling there. I should have been a bit more patient and timed the roll catch for that last attack. Axe Dude gets a bit of breathing room because of that. I'm sure most of you already know this, but Sword Dance has a second part to its attack. Pressing L2 after the initial combo delivers a final strike that deals hefty damage. You can delay it a bit, which works well for catching people. And now we fall into the gap. This place is bonkers. Just as Axe Dude is about to escape, we nick him with the second L2 of Sword Dance. We give chase and clean up the kill. After Axe Dude dies, the host decided to take on the Banished Knight in the isolation room. We get fogwalled, but with his depleted resources, he falls eventually. This nets us a good win.